What we lend to see, in this new video, is one of the essential, and very creative features, and options of Photoshop, used in a wide range of areas. These are the famous blending modes. Let us duplicate our photo, and create a black and white adjustment layer. Moreover, let us observe well. Photoshop has different display modes for layers, we call them blending modes. All our clicks, are displayed identically under the normal blending mode, which is by default. We can apply other modes, besides we have a whole list, and each mode displays differently the layer selected. With the novelty of Photoshop 2020, it is possible without even validating a mode, to see how it will affect the layer selected, just browse the modes, to see the result of the display of such modes. Lines separate each set of modes, we can say that they are categorized. Thus the multiply mode makes it possible to obscure the image, and not to convert it to black and white, as the adjustment layer was supposed to work. With these modes, we have different displays of our layers, in other words, we have different functions within the same layer, for example, the function of the black and white adjustment layer, is to convert to black and white, with blending modes, I can darken the image, and so we change the main function of the layer, by another. This is also the nature of blending modes, used in photo editing, and photo montage, and for creating visual effects, etc. There are 27 blending modes, in 6 categories. We are not going to detail all the merge modes, but, only one mode in each category, to understand, because most of them, are similar, having almost the same effect. First category, Normal Mode. Edits, or paints each pixel to make it the result color. This is the default mode. Category, Multiply Mode. Look at the color information in each channel, and multiplies the base color, by the blend color. The result color, is always a darker color. Category 3, Lighten Mode. Look at the color information in each channel, and select the base, or blend color whichever, is lighter as the result color. Fourth category, Overlay Mode. Multiplies, or screens the colors, depending on the base color. Patterns or colors overlay the existing pixels, while preserving the highlights and shadows of the base color. The base color is not replaced but mixed with the blend color to reflect the lightness, or darkness of the original color. The fifth category, Difference Mode. Either look, at the color information, in each channel, and subtract the blend color from the base color, or the base color from the blend color, depending on which has the greater brightness value. Blending with white, inverts the base color values, blending with black, produces no change. Sixth category, Hue Mode. Creates a result color with the luminance and saturation of the base color, and the hue of the blend color. This is the description of each mode, in a category to get a precise idea of the category. Now we will present in practice the most used blending modes. As a quick exercise, we will retouch a photo with a combination of blending modes. First, we convert our image into a layer, by removing the key. Then duplicate the photo using the keyboard shortcut. Ctrl plus J. Change the blend mode for soft light to create contrast. Adjust the opacity of your image, as the contrast is a bit strong. Duplicate our photo again, but under the screen blending mode, to have a good brightness. Always adjust the opacity according to your image. Then apply a fill layer of the color of your choice. Apply the soft light blending mode, we see our photo but with a strong tint. We adjust the opacity, here is a perfect photo filter for our image. 